Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I divide up some plants that are growing in one rock wool cube. Now this is a tricky game and sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. I actually have three plants, these are basil plants, that are coming up in this one rock wool cube. I don't know if you can distinguish all three there, but there are three. They're a little tiny. But uh, the easiest way, the safest way to be sure you're only going to have one plant in there is just to cut the other two back. But I want to try to salvage them. I use a lot of basil and so I'm going to attempt to separate these out. I have some rock wool cubes that I've been soaking in filtered water. Some people will soak them in just tap water but I use filtered water. Now, there are different ways to do this. Some people will take a pair of scissors and snip the rock wool cube to the middle there to where the plants are. I just take a knife and cut in to it. And again, this is a game that sometimes you win at and sometimes you lose. And I'm just going to separate it out. Sometimes uh, I split it. This time I'm going to go ahead and split it. Sometimes I just kind of separate it a little bit. And you can see, I hope, see that the root has gone down in there. Now to get another one ready, I'm going to just cut into another one and just kind of separate it a little bit, trying not to completely split that one. Now the trick is getting this plant out of here without totally destroying the roots. That's the tricky part. That's the hard part. That's the part that you just can't be guaranteed that you're going to do safely without destroying the plant. Ah, looks good. You can see my little baby there. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay this in here carefully. I mean it's really easy to damage these plants like this. <clears throat> All right, you only want no more than one plant in a rock wool cube. I'm going to go ahead and insert this in a net pot and that helps to keep it together. If it was a smaller rock wool cube, uh, these are one and a half inch cubes. If it was like a one inch cube and this is a two inch net pot, it wouldn't hold. So I would take this tiny rubber band and put it around there just to help hold it together and then I would need to fill the void with something. It could be pieces of rock wool, it could be some little clay pebbles, something like that. But this saves me from that. Now if you notice I did not push it all the way down. I didn't push it all. I left a little bit of space so that root can come out of the rock wool cube and find its way through. And it's going to go in this container for now, I'm going to try to get six of these basil plants out here and I will put enough filtered water in here so that I know that the rock wool cubes will be not completely submerged but have the bottoms of them in some water so that the plants will get a drink and not dry out. Well that was one. Now we're going to do this again with another rock wool cube. Kind of separate it just a little bit. That one almost tore. And we have two more babies in this. Hopefully you can see it all right. And I'm going to once again attempt to pull one out. I think I'm going to attempt to pull this slightly smaller one out. And again, this is like delicate surgery because the roots get intertwined and I feel like they're pulling. So this plant may or may not make it. I don't know. Ah, there we go. It did well. Hopefully you can see my little child right there. And I'm going to just put it in this rock wool cube. Try to get those roots aiming down. Put this in a net pot. And I just achieved something I did not know for sure I was going to be able to do. This one, we leave alone. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it in a net pot. There. Now I've got the same thing here. I've got two or three. These are really, really tiny. But again, I use a lot of basil. 
and I don't always do this but this time I'm gonna attempt it to see if I can salvage I've got another soaked rock wool cube here cut into it to about where that hole is and I'm going to oh let's do these two an attempt I don't know again it's like delicate surgery here to see if you can actually get them apart without destroying the plants or the roots because they are extremely delicate. Now I've got two together and I only want one per cube and there it is I actually separated it. Now lay it down in its own rock wool cube Wow, it's working. Okay, put that in there. One more. So there's different ways to do this. You know, you can just cut the plant off or you can attempt to salvage it. And this doesn't always work. I mean, if you damage the plant, damage the root, it's not going to live. Most of the time, I'm successful at this little game. Most of the time, once in a blue moon, the plant won't survive my torment. So I have gone from two basil plants now to six. I don't think I need any more basil for now. Now I'm going to add some filtered water to this. I don't put any nutrient solution in it quite yet not quite yet not till they go into the bins make sure that they have enough and you do have to monitor this on a regular basis to make sure that those plants are constantly getting enough water now when those roots are visible and coming through the net pot and extending outward then I know they are ready to be planted into their own bins these are going to go back under the grow lights until the roots are long enough to be planted in bins. Well, I do hope this helps you out and that you're learning what you need to learn so that you can set up your own hydroponic system. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.